now this morning. Fun stories we find buzzing around the internet. Of course, you know the National Park Service turns 100 years old uh, this year. And uh, visiting them is a great way to see not only how large the country is, but see how small we are. Let me take a look, uh, give you a look at some of the pictures that people have been taking for just that purpose. These are absolutely stunning images wow. taken by a photographer named David Swindler, who lives in Utah. Yeah, look at this. He cool. uh, he owns a, a company called Action Photo Tours, which is kind of neat. He took these astonishing photos in a lot of different locations that are well known to us. And you may or may not have been to the Grand Canyon, uh, Vermilion Cliffs uh, in Arizona, also Zion National Park. There's the Grand Canyon there. Just gorgeous they photos. They almost look photoshopped. They almost do. And you know, I don't know if he used any kind of filters or enhanced them in any way. This is a wow. place I've always wanted to go to. Pretty neat stuff there. I love that. I would never. Never park my tent there, but it was pretty cool though. But it shows you just how not only gorgeous the country is, how large the world is, and the universe around us, and just how small we are. But just gives you a really neat look at just some of the more amazing sights around our uh, national parks like that. All right, got an update now for you on a product we told you about uh, last week. Uh, it was, it's designed to help you sleep on a plane. It's a it's a pretty neat thing. We've been kind of calling it the head hammock, but uh, it's uh, actually called. Called the Nod Pod. Nod Pod. Nod Pod, right? Paula Blankenship created this after sleepless trips oh, uh, because it's, in, it's it nearly impossible genius. to not only sleep on a plane but look adorable doing it. So this supposedly <laughs> recreates the way that you sleep in a bed, although you're vertical, with your head at about a 90 degree angle like it would be on the pillow if you were sleeping on your back. Uh, the uh, cord is designed to go around the headrest so it doesn't cover the TV screen for the passenger behind you if you're on a plane, for instance. Um, and get this, the Nod Pod has woken up the investment community. It went on sale for $25 on Kickstarter last week, and at last check, people must really want to sleep on a plane. It already has nearly 5,000 backers wow. with 10 times the amount of money it was looking for already. $201,000 pledged of just a $20,000 goal with almost three weeks left to go in the campaign. <laughs> wow. Right. So if you still want to get in on one of these, they're $25 right now on uh, on Kickstarter. Uh, pretty good deal if you're looking for something to help your travel experience, which who isn't? And it might look silly, but hey, you're getting a good night's sleep. When I need you're that, on that under the hair dryer, too. Right? When you're <laughs> on front of that cross country, <laughs> on that cross country plane. And the other people are just going to be uh, head back, neck Kink snoring right, right. Like, I'm like this, like a crazy person. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last but not least, when you're out there trying to catch them all, you work up an appetite. Well, now you can eat them all. Take a look at this uh, cute. Stand by. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. Wait, there we go. <laughs> There's a restaurant called Down and Out uh, in Sydney, Australia, that they uh, have created uh, Pokemon burgers uh, that match the Pokemon's uh, style, the personal Pokemon style. Uh, they say that you don't know which one. You you just order the Pokemon burger. They don't tell you which one you're going to get. It's a surprise. So uh, each Poke burger costs the equivalent of about $11. Available in limited quantities in Sydney, Australia, until September 3rd. There you go. Back to you guys. Wow. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Thanks. Well, local students are getting the